specifically I'm Alright was a, was a song I wrote in LA about three months ago. I was on my way walking to the studio and I saw a homeless guy on the street and I'm like what a crazy concept it would be for a song if I had compared a homeless man who had nothing but is like happy and content in life to a man who's rich and has all these materialistic things but is just not happy and, and so that's how that, that song came to be and then um, Beast Mode is kind of more like a story of my life and like what's happened over the last year and how, how I've lost a lot of friends but I've also gained so many new fans and, and supporters and I've had so many awesome experiences so Beast Mode is kind of just like my story so uh, again every song it, it comes from something different every, every song is a different inspiration is inspired by something different and I, every, everything I, I rap about has to do with my life and what I experience so you said you lost a lot of friends. Like I, I didn't it, lose friends. I mean, they, they they went to college. I was supposed okay. to go to college last year, and um, I was actually on the campus of Florida State University, and I got a call from a label, and so I flew up to New York. I did a showcase with them. They offered me a deal, which I didn't take, but it kind of opened my eyes to the fact that maybe like I I'm onto something here with this music. So so I decided not to go to college. I took a year off, and I I concentrated on music 100%, and. Yeah, my friends went off to college. I, I didn't lose them. They're, they still support me in my music, but I don't really feel like I know them anymore because obviously they're hours away or in different states. And, right. Yeah. And but, they're living a different life right now exactly, than you are. They, they don't really even know like the extent of what's going on in my life and like how much I've, I've accomplished and, and who I've met and what I've done. But luckily, I'm, I'm still I'm surrounded by people who love me and who support me. Yeah, and you're terribly humble, and like that, you got to lose that right away. Sorry, I'm sorry. You're too nice, <laughs> man. <laughs> so, um, tell me, like, I know that basically you just posted some songs on YouTube, right? And then right. you were pretty much discovered. Uh, I know you're managed by Jason Derulo's um, right. manager. What's his name? I Frank, feel Frank Harris. Frank Harris. Um, so, and you mentioned that you turned down a deal. Yeah. So I'm just it, if I'm looking at it, like you get discovered on YouTube, you get offered a deal, and you turn it down, and you're what 18, 19. Yeah. Um, talk to me a little bit about that. Must have been a hard decision, right? Yeah, I mean, well, well, it's not like it's not like my dream is to like sign a deal. Like, obviously, I want to wait and get the right deal. But yeah, as you said, I started putting songs on YouTube. I, I actually turned all my poems I had written in English class in ninth grade into songs. And um, at first, it was kind of just a hobby. I started putting them on YouTube, getting good feedback, and more and more people started coming up to me and being like, "Hey, like." you're really good, like you should keep going, and, and so at, at a certain point I started taking it from a hot, more of like a hobby to a career, and like concentrating like solely on music, and at that point I've, I was contacted by a few labels, and then the buzz started growing, I was contacted by my manager, and, and yeah, I've, I've been offered a, a, a few deals, but they're not the right deals, they're not, they're not anything that I'm like looking for, it has to be the right deal, so, so I'm definitely keeping my eyes open for that right deal to come along. But not yet. Is it basically like those other deals where other people had too much control over your stuff? Yeah, Is I mean, that pretty much it? You need to find a deal where where you have the creative rights, where where they don't tell you you have to go here and work with these people. Like you have to write your own deal. You have to be happy with it. I mean, I mean they can't just control you. So so it's not all about the money or the advance. It's it's about the four years or five years that they're that they have you under their control. You have to be happy. You know? What were you going to major in college? I didn't even get that far. No, okay. No. I mean, you seem pretty business yeah. oriented, which is good. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely, I'm actually starting a few classes at uh, University of Miami in the summer, just as a part time student while I while I continue to do music, and um, and I'm probably going to do something related with music and business, just so I can. I mean, I've I've learned so much about the music industry in the last year, but to even take that to another level and get an actual education. Uh, what are your immediate plans? I know you have a couple of singles that are that are out. Right. I'm assuming the the plan would be you get a deal, get an album out, right. but just for now just keep doing, you know, things I mean, like this, preferably probably not by a flip cam, something a little <laughs> bit more high tech. Hey, everything everything You so deserve cool. better than this, I'm sorry. No, I don't. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, I have one song on the radio right now that we're pushing. It's called What I Wouldn't Give. It's it's on Sirius XM 20 on 20. It's on a bunch of stations around the country and and we keep getting ads on different stations. Um, uh, for right now, yeah, I just keep on putting out new songs, new music videos, hoping to catch the attention of whoever. Um, I go to LA next week. I'm meeting with a few labels, uh, big labels, so I'm really excited about that. And yeah, I mean, once once I get signed, if I, if I sign the right deal, when I sign the right deal, it, uh, hopefully the next step will be a CD, a, a tour, or anything, because I've never, I've never toured. I'd love to do that, and 
I've had a few shows, but I, I, I want to like tour and, and spread my, my music to the whole world. And do you have like a whole arsenal of songs that you're just kind of sitting on? Um, or not necessarily? Well, ever since, ever since Frank, my manager, found me, he kind of introduced me to the right people and supplied me with the right tools. So, so he kind of supplied me with like the, the next level quality for production, for music videos. So ever since he signed me, all the songs I've made with him and under his producers and all that stuff, that's kind of my arsenal of songs. I have like five or six right now. Okay. Well, that's that enough for an EP, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's definitely. release that shit today. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs>